Hey everybody, good morning. Sarasota Tim here at Nathan Benderson Park in gorgeous Sarasota, Florida. Notice that the hose of the uh, water that they were draining from the big lake here with the pumps, not only are the, uh, uh, is the water shut off, but the water's down. Uh, but the birds are still enjoying it over here. I wanted to show you these water birds. Take a look at them, I'll zoom in for you. Uh, the four or five ducks were walking in a row that are over there swimming. Uh, they were walking across the grass here and you know just like they were when they were babies and now they're in the little water there to swim around and then these guys are always uh feeding uh, those white birds and there's one's got pink in him like a flamingo but uh, that one with his neck stretched out there he is oh he can really peck quick all of them can peck quick lightning fast and they got some sharp eyes that one duck decided to get out of the pond. Those are mallards. But um, we're taking a walk and we were talking about this area here is normally dry. I remember a few years ago that uh, they had some backhoes and some kind of machinery back here kind of cutting all that back and kind of clearing it out, making sure all these power lines are clear and stuff. So we're doing that typical path over here where the shade is, about a quarter of a mile back and forth to stay out of the sun. And we will get over to the um, tower. Uh, we didn't do the steps yet, but I don't want my calves to get sore again by not doing it. So we'll definitely continue climbing those stairs. And uh, I'm gonna be getting to the gym today because I haven't been there in a few days to work on my muscles. But um, we got a few things we're doing. I did order a new grill from Walmart that I'm gonna be picking up. Uh, the expert grill i got that coming in and uh, i don't know whether it's gonna be assembled or i'll put it together it's not a big deal someone told me they actually will put them together for you and that's fine uh, but if not i've got a power um, screwdriver thing and all and it's not a big i put like three of them together so far so i'll uh i'll leave half the nuts and bolts off and do it <laughs> no i'll get it but i have two propane tanks that i have for my generator that are just sitting there. So I already have plenty of propane uh, in which to, um, that's the uh, moat aquarium I'm showing you, uh, to, run the, uh, to run the grill and to cook up some cowboy steaks, chicken, ribs, whatever. We're gonna be doing that. Back this way. So, and I wanted to add a little uh, extra information regarding the car purchase, because we're gonna talk about the car quite a bit in the next few videos because it's a new member. Uh, one, I'd like to say, please, let's go for it, guys. Suggestion box is open for the name of the new Accord Touring Hybrid. Uh, you know, we, do, we try to stay with the Cs. Uh, cruiser is definitely up in there, the Cruiser. But, uh, you know, whatever uh, you can come up with, it doesn't seem to, to be the ideal name uh, really at all. But it's it kind of so... That one's already been suggested, uh, suggested. so think of something else, if you can, uh, to go along with the Crusher and the Crasher. And uh, also I wanted to tell you guys too, on the decision part of buying and payments and all that, I did mention in the previous video that I'm essentially making a payment now, or anyone would be that has a paid off truck or a gas guzzler, uh, to a great degree of the payment. But here's the caveat. Here it is. Are you ready? Forgot to tell you this. This was the big, uh, the, that cinched the deal. When I went there and I talked to um, the finance person, he told me that this model, the Honda Accord specifically, is the only Honda right now that you can buy for 2.9% interest or 3.9% interest, respectively, depending on the term. If you go out over two years, it's 3.9 uh, all the way up to, I think, 60 months. So let's just take a hypothetical situation. You're a rich person and you look at a $40,000 Honda Accord and you say, I just write you a check for this depreciating asset, even though they holding pretty good and all that. It's still a car. And you know, you got it insured, so you're protected, but it's it's devaluating. It's not a, it's not gold, it's not 
course, anything can come down to, including houses, but you know what I'm trying to say. But you can put your money currently in the bank for a 5% CD. And that's coming down too now because they've already uh, figured out that uh, people that want to make a lot of money on their money, uh, they're not offering that 5% much anymore because uh, Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve is, uh, and they're not a federal agency and they have no reserves. They are cutting interest rates ever so slightly, but the fact that they are is, um, is causing the banks to say, well, tap the brakes. You know, we'll give you 5% for about a month or two, but if you want to lock your money up for a year and try to get under our, you know, get into our pockets for 5%, nah, not happening. So, but anyway, if you can get four or 5% on your money and you're only going to pay two to 3%, three or 4% for a car loan, and you still got your money, whether you want to buy and sell sewing machines, put it in a bank, uh, uh, gold or a CD or whatever, house, whatever you want to do with it, is a lot better than, you know, buying a car and paying, you know, seven, eight, 10, 12, whatever percent. And the used cars, of course, are, are way up there. So this uh, year end sale, this promotion that's going on uh, with Honda was a huge driver and a decision maker. It just happened to be my luck uh, that uh, something, like he told me, he says, it's free money. Even though there is a small charge, I mean, really, uh, on, a, on an annual basis or for the whole term, if I were to make every payment without making extra payments every month or trading it or paying it off early, whatever, I would pay, you know, very little over 60 months. Look at this guy. He's got him a snake. Look, he's got him a snake. Look. Oh, he's got a long snake. It wasn't a worm. He got one of them long snakes, about a foot long. He's going to swallow down. Um, so that was a huge driver and a decision maker right there. Uh, so it's basically like, look, we don't need any money from you. We're not going to charge you anything <laughs> except what it costs you to drive it. And that's all that car cost is what it cost me to drive it every 30 days. That's as far as I've spent. I used to tell that to people when I had my, my Harley Davidson. I had a beautiful motorcycle and I signed and drive. I just bought it at the showroom. I didn't even drive it. I just took it and uh, it was, uh, I don't know, $25,000, $30,000 for a motorcycle. And somebody said, man, that's a nice bike. How much it costs? I go, that, that bike only cost me $300 every 30 days <laughs> so really i mean if you just want to look at it like that and that is a reality you know and you're not buried or upside down you can get out of it push comes to shove you had no way to make your payments uh you know so no risk no problem very happy with it and like i said i'm already making those payments uh what i've been spending for the last four years in gas um, on these vehicles i've been driving and at least you know quite a bit of the payment so it's uh i'm very happy about that but anyway um we're going to be doing some road trips here soon for you and everything else i'll get the grill going and we're going to step it up another notch here or two and i do appreciate everybody in the community update on johnny vegas um i speak to him every day and he gave me some information then he called me back he said tap the brakes uh there's been some new developments of some good, some bad, uh, not so good, I should say, not necessarily bad. He's stable. He's still in the uh, physician care, and uh, he is, you know, doing what he's got to do to get his life back to normal. But because there was a, um, he had the MRI and everything, and there was uh, some information that was brought about about what they're going to do next and what they're not going to do or they're going to schedule to do, and if that doesn't come to fruition they'll do something else and so he's just told me to let the community know that he appreciates your prayers and your thoughts and he's doing as good as he can be expected to do right now and as soon as he can share uh, any um, any news that he wants to that because they keep changing their mind about different things they want to do it's kind of a fluid situation but if I could use uh, JV that beautiful soul as an example. You know, I think about him and we talk about, hey, 
we're going on a cruise. Uh, I know some other people in the community are going on a cruise. Somebody that said, hey, we, we got all your information about uh, cruising and we bought one. And uh, California Steve, he's leaving uh, tomorrow. And so a lot of people are traveling and doing things and they're out just living their happy life, uh, going to parks, and, uh, taking walks and stuff like JV did for the last multiple years to keep his heart in condition, you know, walking a couple miles a day. And I've said it before, once you find yourself horizontal in a bed, I don't care if you're Jeff Bezos, there's nothing you wouldn't do or give away to just have the ability to do what I'm doing right now, walk down the darn street, straight up and down. And so it's very important that you realize the reality, folks, that life is short and life has no guarantees. And when you get over the age of 50 and even any age, things start to happen. And even if your health stays good, your body's gonna change. Your looks is gonna change. Your attitudes are gonna change. And what you wanna do, you know, uh, everything you look at in life, you know, your values really change. You, you know, you grow up. So keep all that in mind and appreciate what you have. And I know you do, but for those that are taking things for granted and you just say, hey, you know, I just wing it every day, fly by the seat of my pants. I don't worry about stuff like that. Well, let it happen. Let it happen. And then you're asking for everybody in the world to help you, pray for you, or for some change to happen, some heal healing to happen. Uh, you know, and then once you get it back, you're like, I'll never, ever forget that health is wealth. So just remember that, folks, and crush it.